and welcome back to my youtube channel this is another atf video so today we'll talk about that how we can create our own test step so previous video you see that i was going to add the steps uh, test steps below and i was doing some perform now today we'll see that how we can create our own test steps and then what are the things we can do so remember that here in these steps we actually impersonate the system user we cannot query to that i mean we cannot query to that uh, record and we cannot get grab the requested for that's the reason we directly impersonate the user today we'll create our own steps and then using the own steps we'll grab the approvers um sys id and then we will impersonate that user in our steps test so without wasting time let's get started so if you see here uh, the step number 15 we are actually getting the sys approvals sys, uh, we are querying to the sys approval table and we are getting the sys approvals record but only challenge here that we are unable to grab the approver sys id whoever is the approver we have to be impersonate that user right so we'll create our own step, steps and then we'll get all these details from there so what we'll do if you scroll down on the atf there is a step configuration just open this step configuration and here you can create your own step so after this table what we'll do I will simply query to the sys approval table and from there who is the approver we will get that because if I add after line number 15 if I try to add up step number line number 15 I cannot use that let's try to add that in line number 15 we are querying to the sys approval now if we try to impersonate that user and try to click next what will be happen here you can see we need to be past the user but in this user if i go and click the 15 here we are going to the sys approval table but we cannot give that we can give the sys approval record sys id but we cannot pass the you know the approval name so that was the challenge here for that we will do we will create our own step to get the related uh, field uh, value okay so i'll go to the test step configuration and click new here we'll create our own uh, steps called related record value okay so this is our test steps configuration here what we have to do we have to put the name so we'll put the related uh, record details okay so this will be our uh, you know uh, name here uh, template reminder we'll put the same thing here uh, here is HTML description that we can, you know, you can put some description. So I will not put much details here. And then in order, I'll put the 100. And in the script, you have a two script. One is the description generation script. Another is the steps execution script. Steps execution script is the script where you need to write some code to execute and perform certain action. So I'll just save and here just save that so in the related record uh, if you see in the line number 15 or uh, this step number 15 what after 15 what we need in the related record we need to know that which fields we are trying to grab and secondly we need that from which table we need to grab and thirdly we need the record C ID. so these three things we require very first thing is we require that we'll query to the C's approval table and based on the sys id and then we'll return the approval fields right so these three things we require so we'll do that so very first thing is that we will uh, you know declare the in input variable so let's declare those input variable first you need to define the type our case first is the table name so first type is the table and uh, and here we'll put the table name and the field name is u underscore table Summit. so that will be our first trip so we get the table name secondly we need to be declare one more variable called let's say um we'll declare the id or record so this case we'll put the string 
and name will be record id and this will be mandatory okay and submit maximum length will put that 100 third we need that we'll click that uh, new and third we need that which fields we are expecting mandatory maximum value 100 so these these three things we need as part of the input and then uh, so we'll we'll uh, if you see the steps we'll query to this particular table with particular record and for these fields and we'll return the field value Right, so we we'll create some output. So we we'll click new. Here we'll uh, create a output called string, and then label is value, and maximum is hundred. Submit, and I want to create one more uh, variables called display value. This value will return maybe if you if you are querying to the CCUs or um, approval, it will return the CCID and also I want to display value. So two variables, output variable I am going to create. One is the display value. So I will create again another variable called string. Here label will be display value. Okay. Maximum length is 100 and then submit. So these are the value we are actually as input we are taking three parameter and as output we are passing two parameters. Now you can see that there is a one more call edit variable layout. You can click that edit variable layout and you can design that for which fields come first and which field come after that. You can design like a form uh, here also you can design that. If you see here all the inputs fields are visible now. So first question will ask for table name and second is field name. I might don't need that. Uh, I might need the second as this one. I'll put this one and simply click save. So this way the form will be set. Let's uh, do one thing. Let's start writing the code. If you see here uh, what it is saying that step result dot set fail and step result dot step success, uh, set success is the two method and then step result dot set output message this is the another result so we'll do these one by one first here if you see we will query to the particular table so where cheer equal to new glide record this is our our uh, table name we have to be passed so we pass that input dot table name is nothing but this field name we will pass that so this table we are going to query and then what we are going to query gr dot get we are going to query particular uh, record so we will put the inputs dot this is the record id we are going to query so this way we will get that uh, we will get the query now we need to be find out that which field so we'll put that where field equal to input dot this is the field name so we'll put that field name so in this way it will store the field name and here we'll put that field name and then we'll create a string called gr dot then field plus here we'll put the dot to string why i i write that what what actually i need here i need actually gr dot get uh, gr dot this one like let's say um, approver dot to string I need this one basically but I cannot uh, I cannot do this one because this field name is dynamic so that's why I created a string called this one then here I'll put one more variable called gr dot field display and this way what we'll do I will put that this one and instead of two string I will put that get display value
okay now here we need to be passed uh, in the output what we will do we will put the value so we will store that here output dot u value equal to eval and then in this eval we will pass this field name same thing we will do that here and then basically we will put this one as a display value and then this is my display value okay so our code is ready uh, let's uh, format this code and then this code is ready in case so if the data is found if the data is found then it is success the steps is success otherwise this steps is fail to declare that we have to for fail this is the method so we'll uh, say that this is the fail and for success this is the method so we'll uh, copy this one as a method as a success so we'll pass the, this is our method for success and then if you want to populate some message you can put that message so you can say here um, user found and then let's put uh, colon and then plus you can uh, put the display value and then colon you can say that id something like that or else you can just put the colons and then that will be written the value and the display value something like that so this will be return you that some value and display value and here you can say that user not found in case some wrong id you can say user not found record not found record not found so this way we have successfully created a uh, steps our steps here you can do any coding right now in our case i am doing my coding so what we am i'm doing i'm querying to the sys approval table i am getting that record and then i am basically setting that value and display value okay so you can hard code that value and display value in my case little bit uh, you know uh, tricky here what it is doing actually this field is uh, this field name will be store called uh, gr dot maybe approver something like that App approver dot to string something like that it will be stored so we are i am getting that approver something like that okay so let's save that one so these steps and after that we'll successfully check that it is working perfectly fine or not so what we'll do um line number uh, after 15 line number we'll delete that line number 14 here so 14 will delete that so if you have not uh, watched my previous video the recommendation will be watch the previous video and then uh, watch this video so impersonation of a system administrator i am going to delete and instead of that we we'll query to the particular table and then uh, we'll uh, will impersonate that user only okay so what we'll do uh, here we are going to actually query uh, sys approval table right so after 14 we'll add one more step so add step and this case our will be related now our uh, new uh, newly created uh, you know um, steps here here we need to provide that table name so we'll put the c is approval underscore approval table and here we need to be put the record and record is nothing but uh, step number 14 first record And then here we need to define that which field we are expecting. So if I go to the CC approval underscore approval table. So if you see that the right now the as per it is coming as a form, form design, whatever we have designed, that way it is coming. Now we need that approval basically field name. So let's put that. So basically we'll query to the CC approval table 
with particular record sys id and we need this approval sys id so if i right click here so basically we need this approver uh, this field value so we'll copy this one and here we'll put that approver dot sys id we need that approver sys id so we'll save that so we'll submit that so now you can see this is fitted after 14 it added the 50 it did not generate any uh, you know description because we have not write any code on the description now we need to after 15 line we need to add impersonation um, you know steps and that so that it can impersonate this um, record so let's do that so i'll add the steps after 15 so here i'll select that after 15 i want to add and then add the impersonation steps we click next here in the user what we'll do uh, in the 15 it will return the value will set the value and then submit so that's it for that um, you know uh, that uh, how we can configure our own uh, steps steps and how we can do so let's run and see how it's working <laughs> So till this point it was uh, ordering the catalog item now you guys see that here it uh, impersonate that uh, militia pina so which is the actual user of our approver right so how did you get how did we get that user will i'll show you that this user we get from our related record so i'll show you that once it is completed the steps so now if you can see that this uh, uh, result is success and if I go to the result um, what we can see here we can see uh, so this is our related record right so which is nothing but which will which is query to our uh, you know uh, sys approval table and then it's find the approver so this is the approver sys id and this approver um, sys id passed to the next step called militia pina and that user is impersonated and then that user is successfully clicked the ui action so that way you can get any related record so and even you can uh, not only a related record you can create your own custom steps and that steps can help you for the further so that's it for today thank you very much have a great day